impulse and reaction action in steam turbine so in this video we will try to understand what is impulse action and what is reaction action for a steam turbine if you look at uh, this uh, picture a batsman hitting the ball so what is the phenomena happening to this activity similarly for uh, a player football player hitting the football in this case also what is this action so we will understand this later in the coming slides now this is another photograph or one photograph for commercial plane another is fighter plane and third is a rocket uh, engine so all these photograph on which principle these machinery works so we will understand this on what principle these are working and uh, now let's understand actual what is the impulse and what is the reaction turbine uh, if you see this is impulse impulse action is associated with uh, mass and velocity that means it is product of mass and the velocity if mass is more then impulse will be more or if the velocity of object is more then impulse will be more or in we can say also that if mass and impulse both are more then certainly impulse will be more impulse is similar like uh, momentum momentum if you you have read in this physics that it is a product of mass and velocity so we can say impulse is a momentum but i will explain later that it is a one time action that means it is not a continuous one but if the mass is continuous let's fluid is flowing continuously in this case let's say mass is kg per second then velocity unit is meter per second then what will impact or resultant of mass into velocity it will become force because mass kg per second into meter per second is becomes kg meter per second square which is a force so in this case impulse is a force so in previous case or in the this case it is a momentum but if the fluid is continuously flowing and it is hitting the object then it is considered as a impulse force the next uh, point is what is the direction of impulse it is the same direction as the direction of velocity at which it is moving so direction of impulse will be in the same direction as the velocity of object now little bit more understanding about the impulse with some examples let's say this is a mass of object which is moving with velocity v now it has come here and is striking one ball which is stationary and so this object has a mass which is m it has velocity that is v so impulse will be mass into velocity of this object so impulse is a momentum you can call it and this mass is striking on the ball this ball initially this ball is stationary and so this ball has gained the motion because of this impulse so this is case of 
one time action so moment the action is once it is considered impulse as a momentum but now take the case of uh, this one where this is a pipe fluid is flowing it has well diff inlet cross section area is the same as outlet cross section area and uh, then mass will be remain same as per the conservation of uh, theory of mass so inlet mass will be same as outlet mass it has same velocity that is inlet velocity and outlet velocity so inlet and outlet velocity is the same now let's consider about the fluid fluid has a mass which unit is let's say mass is kg per second and it has velocity v then you have to multiply m into v which is nothing but it is a kg per second into meter per second it becomes force so you can since it is continuous so it is impulse is a force here impulse force of fluid it is striking the ball and because of this ball has gained the motion so you in this case it is momentum here it is a case of force so in turbo machinery impulse is a continuous process because the steam or gas or fluid is continuously flowing and striking the impeller or blade and that is called impulse and impulse is a force now that take the case of reaction what is reaction then it is again mass into change in velocity see the difference there is a change in velocity so whenever there is a change in velocity there will be reaction so mass in change in velocity again kg meter per second is nothing but ma momentum so momentum is equal to mass into velocity so again the reaction if it is a once in in then it is called reaction so reaction is a momentum in this case but if the fluid is continuously flowing where m is a kg let's say kg per second m is a kg per second then velocity change in velocity is a meter per second so what will happen then if you multiply this mass is a kg per second into change in velocity is meter per second it becomes force so in this case reaction is a force so in previous case or this case it is a momentum but here it is a force so again and sorry another case is direction so re direction of reaction force is opposite direction of the velocity so reaction is always opposite then if you have uh, third law of motion newton's third law of motion you have uh, you have read in the books there is equal and opposite reaction as against the action same thing reaction is opposite to the velocity so this is reaction but in turbo machinery reaction since fluid is continuously flowing so reaction is again force now what is reaction let's understand with uh, an example a uh, reaction is uh, let's say this is case of uh, initially it has a mass of 3m that's a number 3m initially and due to explosion the partial mass m breaks away let's take the case of this now this is 2m now one has breaks away with the velocity v so now concentrate on this mass it has a mass m it has velocity v so momentum will be m into v so this is reaction and reaction or oh sorry this is not impulse it should be reaction reaction is a momentum because mass into velocity but direction will be in opposite direction as you see the mass concentrate on this one it is moving in this direction and so reaction of this mass m on 2m mass will be in this direction so direction of reaction will be opposite to the well v 
and a magnitude will be m into v which is acting on 2m mass now a reaction of continuous flowing fluid let's take let's take the case of nozzle and uh, fluid is flowing it has mass m at inlet and outlet it has velocity v1 at inlet and outlet velocity is v2 if you see the nozzle is designed in a such a way that outlet cross section area is a smaller than inlet area that means velocity at outlet will be more than inlet so v2 is greater than v1 then what is change in velocity v2 minus v1 so v2 minus v1 is the change in velocity and mass m is the same for inlet and outlet so let us concentrate on outlet but m will be remain same and inlet and outlet so m into v2 minus v1 is the reaction force because m is kg per second so this reaction force of fluid acting on the nozzle because we have to consider on the fluid fluid has a mass m which is kg per second it has change in velocity that is v2 minus v1 and because of this its reaction force will act on the nozzle in opposite direction from v2 because v2 is in this direction so reaction will be in this direction so now hope you have understood this what is impulse and reaction now we clearly understand this phenomena this batsman it has a mass of bat and batsman hitting with velocity that is v so mass of bat into velocity of bat will create a momentum on the ball and because of this ball goes away similarly a footballer it it has leg of mass and it is hitting with velocity v so multiplied mass into velocity will create a impact or impulse or momentum on the ball and because of this ball goes away so this is case of impulse action and this is one time now take the case of another this is commercial plane fighter plane and rocket uh, engine in all the cases you will see there is a burnt gas after combustion in the engine it comes out with a very high velocity just like nozzles and because of this or you can consider this it has velocity that is v initial velocity is zero so change in velocity will be certainly what is coming out so this into mass of the burnt gas so mass into burnt gas into velocity will create so this is continuous flowing so rate or rate is mass is a rate that is kg per second and it has velocity v and because of this reaction force of the gas will act on the rocket and because of this rocket lifts up and moves up and so same theory applies for the fighter plane and commercial plane now let's uh, discuss more about what is impulse and reaction in a straight pipe let's condition of this uh, condition of this uh, case you see the inlet and outlet pipe uh, cross section area is the same that is a1 is equal to a2 and then because of this inlet velocity and outlet velocity is the same and fluid is striking on the pipe it has a mass fluid has a mass m into velocity so because of this impulse of fluid striking on the pipe at inlet in the same direction because impulse will be always in the same direction of the velocity but since the outlet velocity v2 is equal to v1 so there is no change in velocity so reaction force will be zero so this is case of pure impulse no reaction and that is why in impulse uh, turbine design inlet area and outlet area remain same so there is no change of relative velocity and because of there is no reaction force only impulse is there now consider this case where 
outlet area of pipe is now A2, which is smaller than A1. And because of this, the outlet velocity V2 is greater than V1. So impulse action will be same, and this is this direction. But reaction force will be mass into change in velocity, that is V2 minus V1. But this is in opposite direction because V2 is in this direction. So here you, you can see this impulse direction is this way. Reaction direction is this way, which is in opposite direction. Now we can make out in such a way that both direction will be same. How I can do it? Let's see in the next slide. You see, I have made the curve pipe. You see, now this is a case of impulse where A1 and A2 area is same. Since area is the same, velocity will be same. So outlet velocity is same. There is no change in velocity. So there is no reaction. Only impulse is there, which is striking in this direction, in this direction which is equal to mass into V1. But take the case of this now, A2 is now becomes smaller than A1. So V2 is greater than V1 because the now velocity which is coming out is in this direction. So reaction will be mass into V2 minus V1. This reaction force now opposite to V2, which is now in this direction. So impulse direction is this, reaction direction is this. You see, both are in the same direction. But previous case we have seen, impulse and reaction are in both opposite direction so this is how you know impulse are uh, sorry blades are designed in a such a way that we can get a benefit of you know impulse action reaction actions we'll see later when you discuss about uh, a steam turbine uh, velocity triangle and design part now let's say understand the effect uh, of reaction on velocity triangle so you know this uh, Euler head, which is nothing but uh, actual enthalpy drop in turbine. So what are the enthalpy drop in the turbine is same as called Euler, Euler head. And enthalpy drop is, is expressed as U1 CW1 minus U2 CW2. U1 condi one condition shows inlet of the uh, blade and two condition shows outlet. So U1 U2 is a typical velocity and let's say it's same let's say it's same mean velocity which is u and uh, cw1 cw2 are world velocity at inlet and outlet so enthalpy change will be u into cw1 minus cw2 you will see in the next uh, slide that there will be change of cw2 component because of reaction and and uh, so in, if reaction is there so cw2 component becomes smaller and that is why the enthalpy drop increases and this is advantage. We'll see how, how it helps in reaction. Provided you have considered inlet condition or inlet impulse force is same. You see, this is a case of impulse only, no reaction. And this is impulse and reaction both. So this is a impulse, this is a reaction, impulse and reaction both. Inlet condition is same because whirl component is uh, how you define it is a tangential component of inlet absolute velocity. So C1 is the same, V1 is the same, U is the same. So CW1 at inlet are same. It is considered. Now outlet, since this is impulse, area is same. So V2 is equal to V1. You see this is V1, this is V2, both are same but area is smaller so v2 will be greater so now this v2 is larger than this one and because and u is the same so see this is larger this is smaller so u will u is the same since u is the same it comes here but since this is larger so u only comes only this and because of this c now cw2 is a tangential component of c2 that is outlet absolute velocity now this is larger, this is smaller. You see this, if this is impulse, this is larger and since this is larger, this becomes smaller. But in case of reaction, this becomes smaller. And since this is smaller, C1 minus C2 component becomes larger. So enthalpy drop is larger. So using the reaction we have achieved or optimized the enthalpy drop and efficiency. 
now the summary of impulse and reaction so far what we have discussed in impulse action cross section area or cross sectional flow area at outlet is equal to inlet but in case of reaction cross section area at outlet is smaller than inlet outlet relative velocity is equal to inlet relative velocity that is velocity remains same but outlet relative velocity is greater than inlet relative velocity we have seen just now and outlet pressure is equal to inlet pressure no pressure drop here outlet pressure is less than inlet pressure there is a pressure drop and you know why pressure drops occurs in fact you can think in reverse way since there is a reduction in area there is increase in the velocity and as per conservation of energy if there is a drop in the if there is increase in the velocity there will be drop in the pressure and that is why since there is increase of relative inlet relative velocity or oh sorry there is increase of outlet relative velocity there will be drop at outlet pressure and so in reaction turbine it has been seen that there is a pressure drop so outlet pressure is smaller than inlet pressure so hope uh, you have understood what are the impulse section what are the reaction action and what is use of reactions to get benefit of uh, overall performance of turbo machinery so i hope you like this please subscribe like and share my channel thank you thank you for watching